Welcome to our channel, The Gifts of God. Greetings in Christ. I hope you have a wonderful day in Christ. In order to keep up with the most recent information, we hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take a trip with us and watch this film through to the conclusion. A strong and urgent warning has been sent out in the midst of a world that is on the verge of darkness urging people to get ready for what could be the most significant event in our spiritual and material lives, the three days of darkness. The world will descend into a darkness unlike anything we have ever experienced during this time, which is predicted to be a time of great trial. It will be a test of faith, fortitude, and spiritual fortitude in addition to survival. In her message to the world, the Virgin Mary offers crucial advice on how we can get ready for this upcoming adversity, materially, but most importantly, spiritually. There will soon be a period of significant worldwide turmoil known as the three days of darkness. The earth will experience a complete blackout, a state of physical and spiritual darkness during this time. Communication systems will malfunction, the lights will go out, and a deep, suffocating darkness will descend across the planet. This event will put humanity to the test in ways we have never seen before. It will be more than just a blackout of light. It will also be a profound spiritual blank where people's faith will be tested and their souls will be tempted. The message cautions that this is a spiritual conflict rather than just a natural occurrence. The confusion will be exploited by evil powers who want to take advantage of people's weaknesses. Only those who are physically and spiritually ready will survive the darkness that will engulf the entire world. The core of the message is spiritual readiness, even though it is crucial to be physically ready for the impending tribulation with provisions like food, water, and candles. The Virgin Mary exhorts each of us to have a deep internal transformation, to sincerely return to God, and to shut our soul's doors to sin and temptation. Closing windows and doors is a metaphor that refers to both a physical and a spiritual activity. During these dark days, we are urged to defend ourselves against the forces that will want to enter our lives. The devout must withdraw inward, both literally and figuratively, into their homes as the world around them descends into anarchy. The necessity to protect ourselves from the effects of evil is reflected in the protection of the home, which is represented by the closing of doors and windows. Spiritually speaking, this entails severing everything that could erode our faith, divert our attention from God's will, or lead us to temptation. It is an exhortation to confess, purify our hearts, and get ready for the future. Now is the moment to deepen our faith, rely on divine providence, and enhance our prayer practice. God and the Virgin Mary will provide protection for those who are spiritually ready. Prayer is highlighted as our strongest defense throughout the entire message. The significance of the rosary as a spiritual weapon that may fight the dark is emphasized by the Virgin Mary. Every Ave Maria, every prayer of the rosary, serves as a light in the darkness, protecting us from the demonic powers that will be at large over the three days. Continuous prayer is a profound, real relationship with God that will offer consolation and protection. It is not just a ritual. We shall be able to withstand the upcoming difficulties because of our unwavering dedication and faith. Since prayer will be their light and shield in the middle of the chaos, the faithful are urged to continue praying constantly throughout this time. The faithful must remain firm during a time when the world will be overcome by dread and despair. Faith is the light that will lead us through our darkest moments, not merely a theory. We shall be able to withstand the temptations and spiritual assaults that may occur during this period because of our faith. The message of the Virgin Mary is unmistakable. Those who pay attention, get ready, and stay obedient will be protected by God. 
She promises that we will be safe from the threats outside for these three days, as long as we stay inside our houses, keep our windows and doors closed, and pray constantly. Those who are sealed in prayer and faith will be impervious to the powers of evil's attempts to enter homes and hearts. This defense is spiritual as well as physical. We have to make sure that our homes are secure on a physical level and strengthen our souls on a spiritual level. This is a moment to withdraw into the security of prayer, not to go out and interact with the mayhem outside. The message tells us that we will not suffer damage as long as we have faith in God and heed the Virgin Mary's advice. The message emphasizes the need of individual preparedness while simultaneously urging group action. During these three days of darkness, the faithful must remain united. Communities are encouraged by the Virgin Mary to unite in mutual assistance and prayer. By pooling their material and spiritual resources, People will fortify one another and build a stronghold of faith against the malevolent forces who aim to take advantage of the darkness. To overcome the difficulties of this time, fraternity and unity will be essential. As a community, the faithful are called to stand firmly together, pray together, and support one another. The ties of faith will be our greatest strength during a crisis. Collective prayer serves as a wall of defense for communities, much like prayer serves as a shield for individuals. Sharing the message with people who might not believe yet is also important at this time. In order to help people get ready, spread the word, and encourage them to turn to God before it's too late, the Virgin Mary calls on those who are spiritually awake. The faithful will be able to endure the darkness if they stand together in prayer and trust. The signals of this adversity have already started to appear in the world. Extreme weather occurrences, increased volcanic activity, and an increase in natural disasters are not coincidental. Rather, they are warning signs. These are the hardships of a planet that is about to undergo change. The message exhorts us to be aware of these indicators and to interpret them as signals to get ready. The worldwide blackout and spiritual gloom are preceded by these occurrences. They serve as a reminder that time is of the essence and that we should not put off soul preparation. When night falls, those who disregard these indicators will be unprepared. There is no time to waste, and that is the plain message. The need for profound personal conversion is at the heart of the Virgin Mary's message. Repentance, turning from sin, and realigning our life with God's will are all necessary at this time. This is not about token gestures or superficial adjustments. It is an appeal for a profound change in the soul and heart. The faithful are exhorted to attend confession, ask for pardon for their transgressions, and reaffirm their dedication to leading moral lives. The most crucial preparation for the dark days is this inward transformation. All of the world's physical preparations will be pointless without it. A time of purification, a test of faith, and an opportunity for people to turn back to God are all part of this time of adversity. Even during the most difficult times, those who accept this call to conversion will discover strength and serenity. Ignoring it will leave a person spiritually lost and open to the powers of evil. The world will never be the same after the three days of darkness are over. According to the message, those who stick with it will come out of the shadows into a period of spiritual development and rejuvenation. Those who have persevered will see a new age of grace and brightness as the world is purified. This is a time of divine purification as well as a test of survival. When the earth is purified of evil and flooded with the light of God's love, the faithful who endure will be a part of the new dawn. The evil that aimed to wipe out humanity will vanish along with the darkness. The world that will be left will be more in line with God's purpose. The message is one of optimism and divine kindness in the end, despite how dire the warning seems. The Virgin Mary's remarks are intended to provide direction and comfort rather than to arouse fear. 
She serves as a reminder that God is with us and will protect those who continue to be faithful. Instead of being the end, the darkness is a test, a necessary cleansing that will pave the way for a better future. Believing in the promises of heavenly protection, trusting in God's mercy, and finding solace in the awareness that the Virgin Mary is praying for us are all encouraged for the faithful. In addition to surviving, those who answer her call will become closer to God and stronger in their faith. The time to get ready is now, as the three days of darkness draw near. This warning should not be disregarded or postponed. While both spiritual and physical preparedness are necessary, it is the latter that will decide who survives the dark. During this time of great adversity, the faithful must respond to the call to conversion, strengthen their homes and souls, and get ready to stand firmly in prayer. In addition to warning, the word of the Virgin Mary promises that those who are spiritually ready will be safeguarded and that a new age of grace and peace will follow the darkness. Now is the moment to prepare your heart, bolster your faith, and put your faith in the promised heavenly protection. I appreciate you joining me on this adventure. This investigation is significant and powerful because of your participation and presence. May the shared tales of our human experience inspire and uplift you until the next time.